Welcome to this video from the RC Ground School. One of the first things folks thinking about getting into flying RC airplanes want to talk about is what airplane to start with. The three videos in this topic will help you decide how to get started depending upon your particular circumstances. I'll help you answer the questions about flying with an instructor, teaching yourself to fly, and what to look for when choosing your first RC model. Oh, and we'll chat a bit about quadcopters too. Let's start by answering the instructor question. Your answer to this question impacts your decision on what airplane to choose. Learning with an instructor pilot is a good choice for those who have access to RC instructor pilots. One easy way to find an instructor pilot is to locate the Academy of Model Aeronautics Flying Clubs in your area. Most clubs have club instructor pilots and some participate in the AMA's introductory pilot program. If the club you choose has intro pilots, you can fly with one of them for 60 consecutive days without joining the AMA or the flying club. This allows you to try before you buy, as many clubs also have club trainers you can use. Using the Intro Pilot Program allows you to fall under the Intro Pilot's Liability Insurance. We'll talk more about joining the AMA in another video. Your local hobby shop may also have some recommendations for pilots who can help you learn to fly. In many cases, they will be the same folks you'd find at the local club, but your hobby shop may have some insights into instructors' personalities, and success rates. If you found several potential instructors, be sure to chat with them to get a sense of whether they would complement your personality and learning styles. Are they loud or quiet? Demanding or encouraging? If you're checking out a club program, talk to a club officer to get a sense of that instructor's reputation and the type of students he or she has been most successful with. Last, be sure to verify their availability and whether it matches yours. If you work or go to school five days a week, you'll need someone with evening or weekend availability. An advantage of using a club instructor is that he or she can help guide you as you develop your flying skills. They can give you background or fundamental information on why things should or should not be done. They can provide some fun war stories to illustrate why various safety rules and field operations are the way they are. Most clubs will have transmitters that can be used as buddy boxes where your instructor can take control of the airplane that you're flying if things start to go sideways. This allows for a much faster transfer of aircraft control than handing off your transmitter. If you haven't yet purchased a model, your instructor can also give you some advice on what and where to buy. Let's talk a bit about the characteristics of a good trainer airplane. If you choose to learn to fly with an instructor, you've got a couple of more options as to what airplane to get. This video series is targeted primarily at those planning to fly electric models. Your instructor can certainly help there. Depending on his or her background, they also may be able to offer help if you plan to fly glow or gas powered models. Balsa and film covered models don't survive crashes very well and take more knowledge to put together. Having an experienced modeler to work with will make that much, much easier. For the electric airplane modeler, the characteristics of a good trainer airplane are the same whether flying with an instructor or not. Good trainers include the following characteristics. Good trainers are usually high-wing aircraft like a Cessna 150. 
high-wing airplanes tend to be more stable and easier to fly. Some trainers have a mid-wing configuration with a rear-facing motor to help prevent prop damage during rough landings. Some of these can be hand-launched and belly-landed. Good trainers are also made from EPO foam. EPO foam is dense and survives crashes quite well. EPS foam models generally disintegrate when they crash. Good trainers also have spare parts that are easy to obtain. Despite your best efforts, crashes happen and being able to simply replace a wing or horizontal stabilizer or a propeller reduces stress and will get you back in the air sooner. Last, good trainers have good electronic support systems built into the model. These stabilizers can help by leveling the wings when bounced around by the wind and, in most cases, can return the airplane to level flight when commanded to do so, assuming there's enough altitude available. This last characteristic becomes more important if you are teaching yourself to fly. Sometimes having an instructor is simply not an option. You may live in a rural area where there are no flying clubs or others enjoying the RC hobby, so you'll have to teach yourself to fly. We'll examine this option in the next video in this series. As we close this video out, if you found it helpful, please click on the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the rcplaneviews.com channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.